Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And over the years, I've made a lot of videos on on how to make a chain. And there was be some things I'd do different with this one, but this is a really easy one to do. So we're just gonna take a rectangle, doesn't matter what size it is, and we're gonna go ahead and, and round it off. And because it's a hairline, you'll be able to actually see it. I'm gonna put it in the number two. So we got a round object now. Now I'm gonna make this like a quarter, evidently make it a half inch big. Go ahead and make it black. Whoop, make the outline black. And then we're gonna take a line and we're just gonna draw a line, make it that same pointage, I think a half inch. Go ahead and make it black, but we're gonna, we're gonna go down here to the text editor tool and give it round end caps so it looks like that. Now it is a line, so we need to go to object and convert the outline to an object. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do a little better this time. I'm gonna take a little bit smaller rectangle. I had too much of a gap. And what you can do also is like one, we can select that, hold down the shift, select that and hit E, you know, put it in the center and then, then actually select that, hold down the shift key and select that and hit E and then that way you're in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that one rectangle blue just so you can kind of see it. And then we're gonna, Shift select this other circle and we're gonna to go to the trim, which I very seldom ever use, but it really works good in this case. So you've made a link out of that. Now we need to group this together, control G. And here's where the blend comes in. I wanna make it quite a bit smaller. We're gonna blend this and we're gonna take a freehand tool and just draw a blend or draw a line. I'm not really happy with the uh, shape of it, but I can take the smoothing tool, set on like five inches, and we can smooth this shape out. Because you could do anything you want, and then you could always take your shape tool and delete nodes to make it a rounder object, because your hand is gonna move around a little bit when you're drawing. So now we're gonna take this object and we're gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and I'm just gonna make two of them. Then I'm gonna select them both. I'm gonna to go to object and blend and I'm gonna blend them, let's say 15 times. Then I'm gonna go like always and go to blend a new path and put it on that path. Blend along full path and rotate item object. Now you can see they're not quite touching, but we can add a few links by just hitting apply. Still need to go a little bit more, maybe 20. That might be too much, let's back down to 18. Now what you need to do is get rid of this open link. So we're gonna go to object, break the blend apart, go to object, ungroup, because those two pieces are grouped, and then you can get, rid of that open link. So now you've got two links. And because we've marked taking the blend apart, our line will, and there's a lot more you could do with it. I would, you know, you could play around with your blend a little bit more, uh, but it's pretty close. And just looking at it, I would maybe, well, the link, this link actually needs to be as long or half as long as the opening because it's a link turned the other way. So you just have to play around with your uh, blend tool on that. I hope that helped, thank you for watching.